Okay. Um, this interview is with uh, Miss Elizabeth Platt, and we appreciate you agreeing to uh, let us come out and do this interview with you. Um, first, we're going to talk about the early years of your life. When and where were you born? I was actually born right here in Athens uh, on Rock Spring Street at home. Okay. 160 South Rock Spring Street. Okay. Yes, and I had a midwife because I didn't, I wasn't born in the hospital. Okay. And can you talk a little bit about your parents? My mother, uh, I lived with her for a short while, not for a long period of time. I lived with her on Rock Spring. I think I lived with her until I was about third grade. Okay. And then I went to live with my grandmother, along with my other four, no, three siblings. Because okay. I had an older brother, but he was not at home at the time. He was old, quite a bit. Well, he was 13 years older than me. So he had already left home and was going to work. So it was just the four of us that were there. Okay. She had already raised the first set of mm -hmm. kids. She had two daughters, and her, do her oldest daughter died. So she raised her five kids. And then she raised her other daughter, who was my mother. She raised her five kids. Okay. So she's pretty worn out, I'm sure, with kids. <laughs> <laughs> but at the time, we didn't know that. <laughs> and so that was your grandma? That was my grandma. And what was her name? Side. Yes, Perlitha. Okay. Perlitha. Last name? Shot. Well, she was a Howell, H O W E L L, okay. and then she later married a Shot. The Howell was my grandfather, Lonnie Howell, but I've not yet found any information on him. I never met him. Okay. And she remarried a Shot, and she actually originated from Crawfordville, Georgia. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, can you talk about your grandparents a little bit? How was that? Um, my grandmother uh, actually raised me up until I graduated from high school. Well, no, actually, a year before I graduated from high school, I went to live with my stepfather and his sister. That's over on Franklin Street, mm -hmm. behind the varsity, mm -hmm. where the Lucy okay. Cobb Institute okay. is. They had a house right there, so I went over there my last year in high school and lived with them for a while. And that's where Frank and I got married. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And who who was that? The name? Uh, her name was Virgin, Virgin Smith. To Smith. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, my stepfather was John Smith. That was her brother. Mm -hmm. So he's the father of my three siblings, but okay. he was not my biological father. Okay. okay. And that's you know that's I don't have a lot of history with my mother because I was so young. Mm -hmm. When um, I left, I actually lived in Alabama for a short period of time. I can't remember who it was that I lived with. Mm -hmm. It was some relative, but I was brought back when I was in the third grade. Okay. And that's when I went to live with my grandmother. Okay. So you've talked about your um, early years a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, what was the community like that you grew up in? Tell it was about uh, the... like family oriented, mm -hmm. like I wish it was today. Okay. All of, we had a lot of adults around us that kind of looked after us mm -hmm. and kept us in line. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we had a lot of older, well, they seemed older at the time, but I guess they weren't older, but mm -hmm. they just seemed older to us because we respected all of our neighbors uh, on all sides of the road. I mean, all the way around the block, because we only could venture around the block. We couldn't mm -hmm. go off to other areas of Athens. Uh, but we had a lot of people that, that helped us out. You know, so you grew up in a pretty supportive eat. neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, we could go okay. eat and they would invite us over for different things. and we go to uh, one neighbor, and uh, Miss King was also my neighbor. She lived behind us. Okay. So I was at her house in and out all the time. Mm -hmm. And then we had another neighbor that we would go to her house and watch TV on Sunday nights to watch the Ed Sullivan show. Uh -huh. so we didn't have a TV. Mm -hmm. We didn't have electricity in the house at the time, so we didn't have any of that mm -hmm. electronic stuff. We didn't have a phone or a TV or anything. So we would go there to watch TV on Sunday nights. And sometimes we would go to uh, around on Parrish Street to Miss Dorothy Atkins' house, and uh, she would give us cookies and fruit and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then Miss Ely, Gloria, Gloria Moses' mother, I don't know if y'all know her. I know Gloria Moses. She lived mm -hmm. on Waddell, so that's kind of around the block and back to our house. She mm -hmm. would take us at Christmas time over on the university campus because she worked at the Baptist Student Union. Mm -hmm. And she would always take neighborhood kids over there, and they would give us all these uh, goodies at Christmas time. So that was fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so so Miss King, no, King was there. Mm -hmm. Are there other folks who? Miss Bad Johnson was also my neighbor. Okay. He moved there later on. He and his wife and daughter they lived there. Okay. Yep. Miss and uh, Eleanor Johnson. Some mother lived up in the corner. 
uh, Mr. Hall, Reverend Dillman Hall, I don't know if y'all remember him. He was the one with all the little artistic figures in his yard. Okay. A I long think I years ago, and mm -hmm. I think he passed, yeah, he passed away, but I don't know what happened to his stuff. But he used to make these little clay figures and have them all displayed in his yard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got some really good neighbors. And what street was that? That was Darren Extension, which is directly behind the two-story part of, of uh, West Broad School, the two-story okay. level. Mm -hmm. It was right across the street, so all I had to do was just go across the street mm -hmm. to school. Okay, so you, you was right yeah, there at West Broad. When I first Broad. started, the, the West Broad was just that one building. Okay. They didn't have a lunchroom, which is up there on the other side where mm -hmm. the garden is. Mm -hmm. That was built while I was there, and also the part behind was built while I was there. Okay. So I got a chance to go to all three of the buildings. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you started, um, just, you said you came back from Alabama in the third grade. Mm -hmm. So you thought third or fourth grade at West Broad? No, I started in first grade. At West Broad? Yeah, Miss Vera Jones was my first grade teacher, okay. and Miss Morton was my second grade teacher, and that was Pink Morton's sister. Right. Okay. And then mm -hmm. third grade, I went, I don't know if I went for the summer, but I just remember leaving and coming back. Okay. I was in Miss Diggs' room when I came back. Mm -hmm. So I remember every one of my teachers all the mm -hmm. way through seventh grade. We didn't have middle school, so mm -hmm. in eighth grade, we went to Athens High Industrial. That was 1962, 62, 63 year. Okay. And that was eighth grade. So I was up at Athens High Industrial slash Bernie Harris for five years. Mm hmm. What else can you tell us about West Broad School? And oh my goodness, West Broad School, uh, before they added the lunchroom part, um, I remember we had this desk, and at lunchtime we would have to go to, down the hall to a window to get our lunch, and then we took it back to the classroom to eat. Mm -hmm. And then when we finished, we took the took it back to the window to give it to whoever was washing the dishes, I mm -hmm. guess. Because we had real, we didn't have disposable or anything. Everything was real plates, mm -hmm. not plate glass, but plastic, that had green. And then we had these little cups that were silver at the bottom, and they had a cone shape for the milk, and you pull the little thing up. <laughs> I remember all it was, yeah, I remember all of that, but we didn't have a lunchroom, and then they built that later. So we got to go to the lunchroom to eat then. But we had, oh, our teachers were just... Unbelievable. Do you mention Miss Morton and Ms. Morton, who was. else were some other teachers? Do Ms. you remember who the Ms. principal was? Uh, Professor Edwards wife, Miss Edwards taught there. Okay. Miss um, Burton, I don't know if you remember her, she was up on Bill I do. Uh -huh. She taught piano. Miss Nesbitt, Miss Irene Alfred, I'm sure you, James Alfred's mother. I heard of was her. There. Uh -huh. Mr. Payne, Miss Joseph, who was Miss Neal at the time, Miss right. Wingfield. Let's see who else was there upstairs was Miss Alfred. Yeah, Mr. Payne and Miss Neal. And over in the other part, I know Miss Morton was there. I don't remember anybody on the lunchroom side other than Miss Morton. Because mm -hmm. I was mostly down at the old building from first through fifth. And then sixth grade, I went to the two story part. And Miss um, Mamie Freeman, who is Miss Thelma Hurley's mother, she was our principal. She was the principal. Yes. Okay. Miss Freeman. Miss mm -hmm. Mamie Freeman. Okay. What you can tell me about her? Do you I know? don't remember. I was scared of her. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. Uh, she was. I don't. I don't know that much about oh, okay. her. I didn't have a lot of interaction with her. Right. Uh -huh. All of the kids that acted up got, got to go to the program. <laughs> so I wasn't one of those people. So I didn't get to go around her a whole lot. But Miss. Okay. Um, I guess my favorite teachers were Miss Jones, who was my first grade. She was so pretty to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Miss Neal, Miss Helen. Well, she was Miss Joseph later. Right, she okay. was like my, I knew I was a teacher's pet, so <laughs> I took advantage of her. <laughs> and I remember she bought me my very first uh, new doll. Mm -hmm. I had never had a brand new doll before she bought me my very first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we had some good teachers. We had good times. and. I love going to school. What do you remember about the classroom itself? I just remember it had these wooden floors mm -hmm. and the janitor would clean them with some kind of sawdust stuff. I can still smell it. It was mm -hmm. a good smelling stuff. But they had the desk with the, you know, the little wood things made onto the seats and the pencil holder and the thing under there. You put your books under there mm -hmm. and everybody faced the teacher and she sat up in the front with the chalkboards. Pretty much like the you know, classrooms they have or had later on, I guess. Mm -hmm. you know? What um, What was your favorite subject in school? In elementary school? Mm -hmm. I didn't have one. Didn't I just, have one. No, we, didn't, okay. we just went to school. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> we interviewed um, Mr. Skip Payne. Did you uh -huh. know him? No. You did? Okay. He was next door to, uh, to I was in Miss uh, Neal's room. Mm -hmm. 
and he his room was right next to ours, so I didn't know he was not one of my teachers. Okay. Mm -mm. But I knew him very well. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What would you say the relationship was between um, the teachers and the adults, the parents? Well, back then, you know, we were all segregated, so the black community was the black community. The parents and the teachers went to church together. Mm -hmm. They went out to the grocery stores together, PTA meetings, so they saw each other all the time. So the relationship was good, and I, I assume that that's why the kids didn't act up, because if they did, you know, they were going to see the parents mm -hmm. somewhere along the way and tell, so they didn't want to get told on, because mm -hmm. they needed a good explanation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, I think it was good. I don't remember I, I, my mother and my grandmother interacting with teachers okay. personally, but mm -hmm. I did you, see other parents. You kind of hinted at it, but what was um, student conduct like? I didn't see anybody acting up. We were afraid to act mm -hmm. up. I mean, because we had the belt. You know, they had corporal punishment then, and they just didn't have all this stuff that's going on there. We were, we didn't even think about it. They didn't even, we were scared. They would, you know, hear our thoughts. So we, we just didn't do it. You know, it just whatever they told us to do, we did it. And we just assumed it was correct. And, you know, that's the way it was all the way through high school for me. I just did whatever they said to do. And sometimes I'm sure it was wrong, maybe, but I didn't question it. We just didn't. And we didn't talk back. Not at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> this didn't all. happen. <laughs> but I remember we have, well, now I guess they have some kind of program where kids are allowed to eat lunch that are on like, um, I don't know, subsidized meals or something. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't have that, but they would have free lunches every day for, mm -hmm. uh, everybody would have like three or four or five or however many. And Miss Mamie Freeman would come to every classroom and she'd hold up like four. And that meant four of your students can go have free lunch mm -hmm. that didn't have the money to pay. So uh, there was some of those kinds of things. And mm -hmm. some kids didn't eat at all. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't pay or they didn't get free lunch. They just didn't eat. Mm -hmm. wow. So that's just the way it was. But I always got free lunch in Ms. Neal's room because <laughs> I was her pet. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the time, sometimes I would eat lunch and sometimes mm -hmm. I wouldn't. But I lived right across the street. Okay. okay. Talk about high school a little bit. I went to high school in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. um, I love going. I just love going to school. Period. Um, teachers were still all black teachers until mm -hmm. I think when I got to the eleventh grade, they may have brought in two white men teachers, two male mm -hmm. teachers, but they were not. I didn't interact with them at all. Okay. But uh, it was. Uh, and high school started at eighth grade. Yes. Back it? then, now uh -huh. I think the kids on the east side may have gone to Lyons. Okay. I okay. I think they may have gone there in eighth grade, and then they we all got together in ninth mm -hmm. grade. So the people from like Newtown and those areas, mm -hmm. in ninth grade, we all combined. Okay. But eighth grade, it was just the West Side kids, I think. And the rest of them went over. I think they told me they went to Lyons mm -hmm. Junior High School, okay. but I didn't go to Lyons. Okay. okay. Um, talk some more about Athens High and Industrial. Tell us some more. Um, we did not have any security guards. Mm -hmm. No fence around the school, any of that stuff. Uh, even the kids that lived like across the street, they didn't go home unless they got permission. Uh, we had some bus riders. I didn't ride the bus. I walked up the hill past the church to school, so mm -hmm. I didn't have that the option to ride the bus. I can't tell you anything about that. I partic participated in uh, extracurricular activities. I was in the course. Reverend W.A. Billups was our teacher. I don't know if y'all Reverend Billups? Yes, Billups yes. From our, our, yes he was very good. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in course, I think, for four years. Okay. Then I was a majorette. I didn't do cheerleading. I didn't play bad. I didn't do all that stuff that make you get hurt, like basketball and all that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we had plays and mm -hmm. we had baccalaureate. I don't think they have any of that anymore. Mm -hmm. Near the graduation, they would have a special event uh, where we all wore white dresses for mm -hmm. baccalaureate mm -hmm. and then we'd have our commencement. Everything that we did took place in the lunchroom or the gymnasium. And who was the or principal? The principal was Mr. Edwards. Mr. Edwards. Edwards. Who was the assistant principal, do you remember? Mr. Robeson. Mr. Robeson. Mm -hmm. Basketball Reed coach. Was the secretary. She Ms. was like Reed. the principal too. I think I remember her. Yes. Miss Fanny Reed. Yes. We were scared of her too. <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah. we had some good teachers, some really good teachers. Uh, some were fun, some were not so fun. Mm -hmm. Can you come? Some was real serious, like Miss mm -hmm. McAdams. Mm -hmm. You know, she was like an algebra teacher, and she didn't mess around. She just went. And Miss um, Miss Gay, Miss mm -hmm. C.B. Smith, Miss Shelton. I haven't seen Miss Shelton in a while. She's still living there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mrs. Stroud was our art teacher, Mr. Troutman. He taught the boys. He and Mr. Coleman taught the boys industrial arts. They didn't mix that up. And then the girls took home economics mm -hmm. from two teachers. So we didn't have the combined mm -hmm. boys went there, girls went here. Mm -hmm. And we did not wear pants to school. My kids just mm -hmm. amazed that we couldn't do that. We did not wear pants to school at all. Okay. <laughs> we had gym suits uh -huh. for gymnasium. We mm -hmm. had to iron them. Mm -hmm. The shoes and the socks had to be clean. We got inspected by Miss Wimberly. Who was Miss Hiram's daughter? She was like our first black dentist here in Athens, mm -hmm. and she checked every girl. And girls and boys didn't go together. Okay, the boys separate. were on one side, girls mm -hmm. on the other side. But on Fridays we got to dance together, but not close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and but we had some fun. We had some fun stuff. You know, we had the Sadie Hawkins dance, and I was trying to tell my kids about Sadie Hawkins dance. They didn't know what that was. And we had um, Valentine. We had Valentine. Balls, mm -hmm. but girls dressed up. Um, oh, we had lots of a lot of activities, but everything took place at the school. Prom, we you know we decorated the gym ourselves. Had our prom right mm -hmm. there in the gym. Everything at the school. We didn't have no hotels and botanical gardens and all this stuff that the kids have today for for their proms. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. let's take time out. Okay. Uh -huh.